Welcome to the Grizzle Geek Reacts to Ruby. I'm Mike. I'm Shane. I'm Preston. I'm Doug. I'm going to startle Doug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back with another episode of Ruby Volume 7, Episode 3, Ace Operatives, mm -hmm. or Ace Ops, or Ace Ops. Ace Ops. Ace Ops Fables. Ace Ops Fables, yes. So hopefully we'll get to see more of this cool new team. Uh, and my favorite, do you remember with their names? They nope. introduced them last time, I think, but I don't remember. They kind of, did they actually reintroduce themselves I or just like kind of randomly names. mentioned? I think there were names. Yeah. They I think, introduced. I think there was more important things to concentrate on. Yeah, uh, so there was probably, a lot going on. Probably. Okay, I'm guys. Sure we'll find out here. We're, yeah, super excited. So, so far, we're two episodes in. Yeah. Are we, like, super excited about the season so far? More I'm excited? excited, but wary. Wary. Okay. I'm. Um, just waiting to see what happens. I was going to say, I want to say a, a couple people in the comments were not happy with our being unhappy with the costumes. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, especially <laughs> uh, Penny's, which we actually have a problem with her, her costume. Just her yeah, hair. her hair. Yeah, it's just her hair is a little weird. It's not too bad. It's not like it's like, nah. it's not like Sean's hair. I like Sean's <laughs> hair. Nope. Uh, he looks hip and cool, okay? Does he? He does. Do you, is that what you think of when you think of John as hip and cool? <laughs> He's got experience well, now. I do think of John trying to be hip and yeah. trying to be hip and <laughs> Which cool. is, says everything about that haircut you need to know. Maybe <laughs> one of the other people cuts his hair and is like, this will make you look cool. And he's like, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Mm. I bet he just shows up with it with his new gear. So, do they have any arguments about the costumes or they just were annoying? Well, no. I'm not yeah, so, so, he was like, I can't believe you don't like their costumes, especially Penny's. That's the first time I've ever wanted to cosplay anybody ever. Which, by the way, if you do cosplay as Penny, let us. Please. Show us. Send us a picture. We'd love to check that out. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, I like the her. The costume's costume. fine. Well, it's yeah, just her hair is a little is, awkward, is all. Yeah, her hair is a little weird, but her costume, I didn't have a problem with her costume. It's the main four girls' yeah. costume. And then the. Except for uh, Weiss. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, and the, the difference I noticed in Penny's voice was mainly the voice actor's inflections don't seem to match up to where they used to be, but uh -huh. it has been a few years since she's had to sure. yeah. act. So yeah. Uh, okay. But yeah, that was that was the only thing I, I wanted to expound upon on that. So. Yeah. All right, let's let's do it. Get the headphones on. Let's get into it. Uh, Ace operatives. Here we go. Episode three. Snowbird. Snowbird. <laughs> nice. All right, gather around. Our mission today is to secure the launch site for the Amity Communications Tower. The designated area is an abandoned dust mine. Since its closure, the Grim have moved in. The good news is all that untouched dust is still down there, too. Science team says they'll need it for the first phase of their launch. Apologies for the mess, and for holding on to your weapons for so long. 
The upgrades you requested were, uh, well, there were more than I anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> Atlas military huntsmen are already hard at work clearing out the surrounding tundra. The recon has identified a powerful geist that's managed to evade destruction and geist. take several lives. After we increased our numbers, the geist was smart enough to retreat into the mine itself, meaning it's old and extremely dangerous. This is our target. Your new weapons and armor should be as requested, but I also <laughs> took the liberty of reviewing your combat footage from the Vital Festival Tournament. There's some additional enhancements I'd like to suggest, uh, oh, but for now, uh, these should serve you well enough. <laughs> the mine was a labyrinth back in the day. There's all sorts of tunnels and chambers the guys can move between. So if we're gonna kill this thing, we'll have to split up and corner it. General Ironwood says you've seen your fair share of combat. I trust that man with my life. So tomorrow, I'll be trusting you all too. Hey, Ruby. Let's make it happen, people. <laughs> Superhero landing from her. <laughs> Alpha Squad, Ooh, nice. LZ's clear. Yeah. She's crazy, Blaster. You've all got fancy new scrolls, so don't forget to use them. Keep your eyes and ears open. I want an update if you encounter the target. Alpha out. Blake yeah. should just use her zippers. <laughs> Sorry, just not used to the new hair yet. Is it bad? No, no, it's good. <laughs> Great, even. Man, I did not sign up to be a babysitter. Yeah, well, the rest of us babysit you all the time. She <laughs> 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 <Sneed> does company. <laughs> oh, it's freezing out here! Without heating or a projected aura, the cold of Solitas can kill you in a matter of hours. I suddenly don't feel as bad about leaving Oscar behind. Can we talk about that again? What about it? We're really not going to tell Ironwood what happened to Oz? What we learned about Jin? About Salem? We are. We will. But you saw how things looked when we flew into Atlas. The General's heart seems to be in the right place, but that doesn't mean we should trust him yet. We need to play along for a while before we make any major decisions. Okay. How did Oscar feel about that? Uh, probably shouldn't keep running around with an ancient relic on a keychain, you know? But... I know you'll keep it safe in Atlas. Ruby, uh, hiding things from Ironwood. Doesn't that feel like what Ozpin did to us? Mm. Hmm. True, true. I gotta say, I'm still not really used to working with other huntsmen in the field. But you were on a team before, weren't you? A long time ago. I just found working alone tends to be for the best. Well, I think that's a shame. <laughs> oh, is, this, is this someone's good luck? Alpha here. He's got Give me an update. On him. The connecting oh, ice maybe. Maybe. Huh. We should be approaching the actual mine any minute now. 
This is so exciting. It feels like we're an actual huntsman team. Her outfit reminds I me of uh, Kingdom Hearts. like what you did with your outfit, Ren. We should probably stay focused on the mission. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. I like your outfit too. <laughs> a bit of a snag. It's been a cave-in in the main entrance. Not sure if it's recent or was caused by the original accident. Either way, we'll have to do a little problem solving. Understood. Let us know if you need anything. You okay? I just realized where we are. This mine was closed after an explosion. I remember this disaster. Or rather, I remember how furious it made my father. I wish I could take back the years of pain my family has caused the Faunus, and all of my complacency in it. This society is set up for Faunus to be at the bottom, and humans are willing participants. They benefit from doing nothing to help us, but there are still those who actively abuse us. Anyway, I didn't come over here looking to solve systemic societal issues. Harriet found a gap in the rubble we think one of you could fit through. Ideally, someone with a knack for seeing in the dark? Uh, oh, of course. All right, Blake. Take a look around. Is there any dust in the immediate area? Mine cards, uh, debris. No dust, though. Great, then it should be safe to blast our way through. Okay. Heading back. <laughs> It's Blake's damn back! Nice. Don't let it get away! first approach yeah well that's just kind of our style <laughs> 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 Based on your reaction time, I'd say I'm a little faster. This is Alpha! Oh. We've engaged the target! All squads, head towards our position! Target escaped. Last scene headed east. Thanks for the call out. That could have been bad. I wouldn't thank me. 
My semblance brings misfortune. Sometimes I can't keep it under control. That's so? Well, hey, don't beat yourself up about it. My semblance is good fortune. Lucky oh. you, huh? <laughs> Charlie, bravo. You should be able to cut off the target at the heart of the mine. Crow and I won't be far behind. The car, <laughs> That's a lot of dust. Guys! Everyone use caution. This room is highly active with dust energy. Triggering it could ruin the launch site. And vaporize us! How is that always second with you? <laughs> I thought the target was supposed to be in here. <gasps> Death to its body? How are we supposed to kill? Help! Guys, do without me. said your semblance was like mine. It is? I've seen other speed semblances before. That, that was different. I think there's more going on than you think. Wait until she sees what she could do with her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky catch, huh? Hmm, no. I chalked that one up to talent. Mm. Atlas Control, this is Clover. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <Oops. laughs> Oh, yeah, thanks for the lift! <laughs> Break windows. Huh? Oh. Whoa! Who are you? Me? Oh, well. I'm someone just like you. <clears throat> someone who wants to mix things up around here. <laughs> oh, dang. There's so much. So yeah. <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, uh. I love these fight scenes. They're so good. I know. Very cinematic. Uh, I like the fact that they have like it, they have somebody on the Aesop's team who 
Who's good luck? Well, <laughs> mirrors, that's awesome. who mirrors people on the on the regular team, right? That's true. Yeah. So we have the guy who's good luck mirrors crows bad luck. Yeah. yeah. Big strong girl with a hammer, right? You got a fast one. Yeah. You got someone who does it with those arms stretches out, so it swings around like uh, kind of Blake. Blake does, yeah. you know. Okay, so they got kind of they kind of mirror the the abilities of the regular team. Have you guys figured out who is who from the Aesops? Nope. No. I can't figure out either. They keep, I mean, they All say I know is that but... the good luck guy, his name is Clover. Is Clover. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> and, so we've got Marrow, who's the dog. Marrow's we've the got dog. Alice, I think, was the fast one. No, it was, uh, it was like, wait. Was it, wait. Something. I don't remember. What was the name? I don't know. A watch or two more. Old yeah. So, but yeah. I don't know who they are, oh, like, so they from Aesop's that. Fables, right? Right, yeah. Oh. Um, so Marrow's is, isn't there the, the fisherman? I believe there is one about the fisherman. Yeah. Maybe. Well, it's, 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 it's not the Aesop's Fable, but there's always the Fisher King. There's the Fisher King, right? From Fable. Right, but that wasn't. Yeah. It's Arthurian. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I'd have to. I, uh, I'd have to look up the stories yeah, and see. get more into the these these characters are. Yeah. But. Yeah, it was cool, cool team up there. Definitely. But oh man, this. I don't think it's gonna be that easy. I how many, like how many episodes is this, is this volume? Do we know? Did no, say? I don't. I haven't seen anything about it. I yeah, I haven't either. Feel like twelve was the number that I remember. Twelve or fourteen. Wow. Oh, okay, so we got like. <laughs> yeah, except for volume one, they've all been like twelve to fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. So first three episodes. So we're were already twenty five percent through the I know. season if you look at it that <laughs> okay. way. Volume that way. Hardly anything happened. So we got like the yeah. initial setup to where they are and the penny reveal in the first one. Then we get the uh, the exposition, info dump, yeah. the info dump episode. Uh, it was all been good, right? And then yeah. we get the team up with the new team. You know, we get the new character, introduction. the new character introduction yeah. to this. Thirteen one. episodes. Thirteen episodes. So. Is yeah. it striking to you as they're way too friendly and chummy? The uh, Aesops? The Aesops? Yeah. Like well, they're like being, ex they're being extra nice to the Ruby. Rubies, you know, the Ruby and Juniper teams. And I, don't, I don't know. because I, I don't like, get the feeling any of them are being false, though. Right? No, yeah, because they were like, I didn't want to have to babysit these guys, like, at the yeah. beginning. So it's not like they're fully, I don't know, chummy. Right. But so Clo Clover, that's the yeah. leader's name. Yeah, Clover. He does is the whole time. Off. He's like, mm. no, he was just being flirty with Crow. Yeah, he, you caught that Crow. too. Oh, maybe. Yeah, he winked at him. He's yeah. like, oh, lucky you. It's lucky. <laughs> it's the same thing the waitress said to Crow. Lucky you when she hit, when she gave him the top shelf drink. Oh. And I winked at him. Interesting. So, nice. So yeah, he's being flirty with Crow. That's a callback to people flirting with Crow. So. Um. Hmm. Unless it's it. all the same person. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's part of his summons he doesn't realize. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he, he's irresistible. irresistible. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. So anything anything stand out in this episode? We got the reveal of the costumes. Yeah. They yeah. didn't look that bad at seeing all of them. Like even I wasn't uh, John's hair still is back. Yeah. I didn't like Yang's outfit the first time we we had been revealed that and seeing her like with her glasses, like her sunglasses and everything, she kind of looked like Top Gun as Yeah, she got aviator. <laughs> yeah, it seemed very top gun. I was like, I can kind of get behind this. Apparently somewhere like uh, there was a behind the scenes or a director like creator's commentary. Uh -huh. and Yang is totally based on Top Gun and Top Gun. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. With the with the motorcycle, the aviator. Sure, classes. that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's a totally like one of her inspirations. Yeah, I could get behind it. So we still and, it, and it's yeah the close to the costumes. I don't know if you guys heard me, but Blake needs to use her zippers. Like she's got belts over zippers that aren't be like just yeah, use the zippers. <laughs> they're half unzipped. Yeah, they're, they're like unzipped. It's called it's, style. Yeah, but it's like <laughs> it's like the, if the zippers are coming undone from the back end, right? Like the, yeah, re rethreaded. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. So we see you guys still down on her hair? Yeah, I don't like it. You don't like it? I, I don't mind her hair. I don't mind her hair. Whose hair? Blake's. 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 Yeah, Not I, a like, fan. I like the hair. Uh, you like her hair more or less than John's hair? 
<laughs> There's a question. No, uh, I don't know. His is pretty bad. <laughs> I like all of it. <laughs> Who on all of you? <laughs> faux hawks should have never been a thing. You're I'm, wrong. I am not wrong. wrong. If you want a faux hawk? Shave your head, get a mohawk. <laughs> Shave your head, get a mohawk. Commit. <laughs> Commit to it. Yeah. Uh, the thing, my, my big question is why does Weiss's new costume include hair extensions? Yeah. Because she suddenly has more twice hair. as much hair as she had before. Yeah. Oh. Like I understand everybody cutting their hair, but she's like, <laughs> "I'm gonna add hair." I'm gonna add hair. I'm curious to see what people's cosplays of her will be, because to me, like, there's no way you can reasonably put that much hair into a wig. You'd have to do like yarn or something to like get it that poofy. And right. Big. Yeah. It's got to be something. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see what people come up with. <clears throat> maybe like like big foam braids with like hair over the foam. Oh, maybe. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. yeah. Some of that. Make it cosplay advice. You know what you should do. <laughs> listen to Mike. He's it's got not some listen good to ideas. people who've never done cosplay before. Yeah. <laughs> what? I craft enough. I could figure out that braid. I wear that I braid. All right, dude. You're you're cosplaying wise. I got I got wise now. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, what do you think of now? You got an up close look, so look at it. What do you think about Nora's costume? Oh, uh, I wasn't really looking that much. I just I'm more into her. Like, I like it. I mean, I didn't see anything that I hated about it. Right. So. Did you um, ever, or are you familiar with Kingdom Hearts? No, I never got to play She Kingdom looks Hearts. exactly like Kyrie from Kingdom Hearts. Look it up later. Well, I'll put it this way. I was more concerned with what was going on with her and Ren than I was about her costume. Yeah. Like, yeah. All yeah. of a sudden, like, I don't know if she's just being overly sensitive or Ren. Probably. Or Ren feels like she's being overly, like, too clingy. I don't know what happened there. Yeah. 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 All so this, it was so, interesting. Yeah. We need to, need to, to be, focus. Yeah. Uh, excuse you. Yeah. yeah, he's trying to be professional with the while they're being watched by right, the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I will say that uh, I, I like her. I like her because it's basically a new uh, just a jacket, right? Mm -hmm. But she's got like pauldrons and whatever, like like she got like bits of armor, but they're mm -hmm. in wrong. They're in weird spots. Yeah, like instead of like over her knees, it's in that like top of her thighs yeah mm -hmm. and then instead of on her shoulders or elbows it's like right in between mm -hmm. yeah I'm like i don't know what it's protecting but <laughs> it's, it's called fashion okay <laughs> it's, yeah it's, they're protecting her guns man no yeah it's true <laughs> it's yeah. most valuable resource <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, all right guys well there you have it yeah, um, I can't wait to well I can't wait to see till the contest to see if her or the big girl get to smash stuff harder. That's yes. true. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. Like who's got the better hammer? We know it's Nora, but still. Right, yeah. Look to see them at one of those like get her lightninged up. Strength yeah. thing, like at a carnival like a bell ringing thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the hammer, yeah. Oh. Blake needs to do the arm wrestling with the big girl and let her arm get these acts <laughs> like she did to her. <laughs> yeah. That's what I said. Yeah, Yang. what did I say? Blake. Oh Blake, yeah. Yeah, I'm at Yang. <laughs> Yang do the. Uh, we even better Blake did it, and she just like made her own wrestle one of her shadow. Points. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Episode three, man, quarter of the way through the volume, and it's it's really good. Yeah. Um, I don't think we're gonna get as far. Well, I would predict it's gonna go farther. The story's gonna go farther than it actually does. Yeah. yeah. Every every volume, and we forget how slow moving it can be at times. Yeah. Although not in a bad way right now, I feel. Right. Like, I know volume six moved around a slow way, but that was, that felt, you know, that was way worse. This is more, this is all new stuff. Yeah. Right? Instead yeah. of like a retread of the season before, it's it's new, so I don't mind it going slow because we get to see more of the background. Yeah, well, on this one, I think this this volume is going to be set up for what's going to be happening. I agree. I don't think that we're going to get a whole lot. Because we don't volume. know what Salem's plan is here yet. So right. we got to find that out. Yeah. We got to find, you know, it's so a setup volume. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm fine with that just because, uh, you know, the, the cool new characters are. Yeah. So I'm wondering, like, so Salem's had a pawn in every kingdom so far. She had, she, um, she had Cinder. Right. And then she had Lionheart. Right. I'm wondering if it's going to be Jacques. And then Jacques is the pawn. Well, he, yeah, he, I think of all the characters we've met so far, he's the one who's most vulnerable to her mm -hmm. because he's greedy. Yeah. True. Sure. And so and there's a... It's waiting with Watts, and I'm betting Watts knows Jock. Mm. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, that which, would, which would really suck, but that would tie it back in with Weiss. Yep. Yeah. That's true. Yep. So. Penny could get her revenge. 
Mm. <laughs> All right, guys. There you have it. Um, tell us what you thought of it in, down below. Even if you don't like our opinions, tell us about that, too. Because yeah. we like having that discussion. Yeah. Um, we really appreciate all of the like, subscribe, share with your friends and all the comments you leave down below. <coughs> we really appreciate it. And if you want to support us and the things we do here on this channel, Doug, how can I do that? Well, theoretically, there'll be some links in the description down below. One to our Teespring store, one to our Amazon affiliate link. Any shopping you do through that will help us out. You will get a small kickback from mm -hmm. it. Or three, you can check us out on Patreon and see our reaction to My Hero Academia. So you don't have to dig at me because I forget to put the sometimes, sometimes, Most all the times time. at the, on the podcast machine that is these. Yeah. So it's all on him now. <laughs> yeah, I've got a copy paste method that. Yeah. yeah. Since they want, the only thing I forget now is I've been forgetting the uh, the, the cards at the end of the videos. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Through other videos. Mm. But, all right. I'll, I'll remember this. We'll one. remember them. All right, guys. We'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.